This is Twit. Jason in uh, Tampa, Florida, Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Oh, wait a minute. We got Kimberly back. Okay. Okay. Uh, Kimberly, hang on. You'll be right after Jason. Go ahead, Jason. Hi, Leo. How are you? I'm well. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy new house. Happy Thanksgiving <laughs> and happy giant donut. <laughs> you saw the giant donut. Uh, this was a gift, a birthday gift from the phone ranger. Heather Hammond brought me the world's largest donut. It's bigger than my head. It's uh, going to go straight to your hips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just applying it. Why even eat it? Just put it right on there. Yeah, yeah just rub it in and cut out the middleman. Yeah. Anyway, I just had a question. You've been talking about the um, the Xbox One a yes. lot yes. today. Love it. Um, and I don't know if this is a stupid question or not, but can you hook up? Since, since the Xbox One will not play the old games, our old games, can you hook up an old oh. X Xbox 360 to it, you know, HDMI? Sure. Whatever. Yeah. And so the way the Xbox One works is unlike any other video game system to date. It, it, the only other device I know that works like this is the Google TV, the old Google TV. It's what we call a pass-through. So instead of giving the Xbox One its own HDMI connection on the television or your AV receiver, what you do is you connect your cable box to the Xbox One in, and uh -huh. then you connect the Xbox One out to the TV. You watch TV, in effect, through the Xbox One, and that's what gives it some of these nice capabilities, the ability to watch live TV, in the Xbox One interface to snap live TV to the side of the screen to have other stuff going on. It's a really elegant, I think, solution. But I think you're absolutely right. There's no reason why you'd have to pass live TV through the Xbox One. You could pass the Xbox 360 through the Xbox One. Okay, I thought they might have been, you know, kind of shifty and, and said, you know, no, no. Well, I haven't no, tried no. it, but I don't see any reason why you can't. The only issue would be the issue of lag. Uh, in inevitably, when you do a pass-through like that, there is some delay, and I don't know how much the delay is and whether it's significant enough uh, to not do this. I mean, of course, you can always make... You can have a TV with both an Xbox One and a 360 hooked up directly as well. Sure, yeah. but the appeal, the appeal of the... Um up the Xbox One is it's the media center. It right. does everything. Right? right. So short of short of you know shutting that down and then replugging in uh, an HDMI and going over to your 360. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, you have it all. Uh, yeah. Try it and let me know. The only issue would be lag, and I don't know how much lag it introduces. So, so you're not likely to try it. And let us know. Oh yeah. Okay, I will. I'll go home and try it. I do have an I'll Xbox 360 lying around. I'll try it. Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah, keep yeah. listening. Yeah, I won't try it right I now. Uh, I'll cool. do it tomorrow. Um